this could go down as one of those little genius ideas. Okay, so we're going to use these anchors here. These are common in, uh, well, should be used in RVs because all the walls are hollow. So this. Yay, great job. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Check. Check. Done. All right, everybody. Today we're talking about RV repairs. Yes, these are uh, always ongoing, constantly happening. So I don't care if you've got a Class A, a fifth wheel, a travel trailer, a Class C, B, whatever. When you're rolling down the road, things are gonna fall apart. Things are gonna break. These are basically rolling frickin' earthquakes. So things uh, are tend to come apart. So we have to maintain the our rig, or and all of you have to do the same thing, or they're just gonna get worse and worse. So you always gotta keep uh, maintenance, not only the preventative maintenance, but as things break. So you see me from time to time doing maintenance on all sorts of things uh, with the rig, and in this episode, you're gonna see a few things that have just come apart from rolling down the road that we need to take care of. In addition to that, we're gonna do something that's on my honeydew list for Joanne, or from Joanne, I should say, that she's been wanting me to take care of. So we're gonna take care of that in this episode as well. So let's get started. So we're going to repair this back trim. As you see, it's just flopping down here. It had fallen out. So all you really do is just kind of tuck it in and then you put some brad nails or something in there. I might just put a screw in there. But let's go ahead and repair it. So that just slides back in there like that. And we'll get a couple brad nails. Actually, I may just use a screw. One here and one here will hold it. It might be better than just a few nails. So let's go get the screw gun and a couple screws. And we'll put another one in for good measure. Right around here. There, that'll keep it from falling out again. That minor little thing, fixed. On to the next project. So as you can see, the molding is popping off. Fix that with a air compressor and my air nailer. And bada boom, bada bing, and bada get bing, done. bada boom. How's it go? <laughs> bing, bada boom. I'm a real New York Italian. Why you gotta take me? Go ahead. Okay, step one is to gently push it back in place. Bang it in. And that 
looks like it's back in place. And then we'll get the air nailer and nail it in. And you just nail her back in. And that's all there is to it. Okay. As you can see, we got nails exposed there. What happened? Well, Joanne got excited in here and pulled that completely off. <laughs> so we got to take all these little nails out, but we don't want to scratch up the wood. So we're going to show you a little trick on how we get that off. So what you do is you take a simple spatula and you put that underneath there. Let me get my other hand on it. Then you grab it, the nail, and then you peel down towards the spatula and it doesn't harm oh my God. the wood. It don't harm. I've never thought about that. See how that comes off? Just keep doing that all the way down, and you won't harm the wood. This could go down as one of those little genius ideas for our videos. Jeff's genius. What do we call that again? Corner. <laughs> Nails are gone. Put the piece back on there. So what I do is I like to start with the top, right in the center, and then I go to the bottom, and then I can fill in the lights. Done! All right, on to the nether project. So we have this holder here that we have to hang on the wall for our new vacuum that Joe got that she likes. And we're gonna hang it right here on this wall under the TV in the bedroom. Seemed to be the best place. We tried several areas and where we might want to have it, and that seemed to work out the best. Right, Joe? Right. Okay, so first we're gonna mark where we're gonna, where we're gonna put it, and then we're gonna make some holes. Okay, so we're gonna use these anchors that will expand in these hollow walls that are common in RVs. So what we'll do is we'll mark where we're gonna drill the holes, then we'll use a drill bit, of this size, drill a hole, push these in, and they'll expand out and hold it. That's all there is to it. Go ahead, go. So that's about where we want it. Would you say, Joe, that looks good? Yeah, that looks great. So hold that right there, hold this off. Push it up. You don't want to drill too far in here, you'll end up outside. So just give it a little bit. And that's all there is to it. Then you take the inserts, push them in. There's the other one here. We're going to pound it in here a little bit. Let me see it again before you put it in. Okay. Great. Which I need a little rubber mallet. Okay, so now we'll take the rubber mallet. Just give it a little tap 
home. Get that extra little shaving off. Then you just back the screw out of it. Are they similar to drywall? Kind of. But the reason you don't want to use a drywall anchor in here is they expand mm -hmm. uh, and they're a plastic piece. Oh, uh, okay. And they can give way. That's why we want to use these. So just reverse the drill. Now I just get it started that way. Okay, so I use a regular screwdriver so I can feel it. And what happens is you see these ribs here, they'll start to collapse on each other. You'll feel the first one, then the second one. I tighten it till I feel the second one collapse. Then you just take the vacuum done. What? Boom! Installed. You can hang the accessories under here now. Okay. Yay, great job. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Check. Check. Done. Okay, those were a few things that just uh, needed a little attention, need a little repair. As you saw, they're all very simple, not hard to do. Um, obviously, you got to have the tools that I had to do them. I guess there's some other ways to do them. You can do it by hand and brad nails and things like that um, but having the air compressor with a little nail gun makes life a little easier so I want to talk about a couple items first of all don't forget that we just started the join button right next to the subscribe so if you'd like to uh, help support our channel we welcome you to join there and uh, you'll find that the stuff that we give away and the stuff that we have in our memberships will more than pay for themselves so hope to see you as a member and don't forget to join us on our group page. We'll have the links below here uh, and on Facebook. So our group page, we talk about just about anything you want to talk about on our group page. And also another reminder that we are going to be going to the Tampa RV show. Be there, uh, I guess that's in a couple weeks. And we would love to see all of you there. So if you're in the area and you plan on being there, don't be afraid. Tap us on the shoulder or come say hello. And another item, don't forget, uh, the link is below here, but we now have shirts, t-shirts, various t-shirts and colors, sizes, everything, styles, all available. So click the link below if you'd like to get a My Bucket List Day shirt and show everybody you're a fan. And we love it when you leave comments below. Good or bad, indifferent, doesn't matter. We'd love to hear your comments. We try to make sure we answer all of them. Uh, so go ahead and leave the comments. We really appreciate that down below. Don't forget to hit that little like, subscribe, and ring that little bell. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Make it a great bucket list day. Bye.